Oh, man. There's so much yellow. It reminds me of mustard. I hate mustard. Flash! Oh, masters of the universe! Well, look at that. There was a Gordon involved. Oh, and a Jonas brother! Oh, he was the forgotten one. He was Earl. What do they do? They're like, yes, this is a film. Oh boy, look out. George Jetson's drunk again. Oh man, I had no idea there was so much stuff between Earth and Mars. Cartoon science is so wonderful. Damn, now that's a neon sign. You down with OGG? Yeah, you know me! And his mustache. Oh, that sounds like a hoot. Probably up there with all your great pep rallies from high school. Conic? Like colonic? I'd rather go to Ogmart than Walmart. I wonder if that even hurts. Oh, ham and Ogs, that's right, funny. Oh, dude, getting a colonoscopy in this planet sucks. Oh man, Og the Great looks like a guy I'd really like to pinch his cheeks and tell me he's a cute little boy. Huh, looks like one of those large lecture courses you get at Penn State. Now trumpeting in high def! Dude, you got a butt helmet. Best thing about this suit? You can't tell I pissed myself. That's right, Bill, it's a capacity crowd! That's just about it. Capacity. They ain't happy for shit. Yay. Please, please, thank you. My ego thanks you. And now, by special permission of the commander in chief, me. My pants. Here is Mars first space explorer. Christ Buzz Aldrin. Hmm, their bravest man wears a skirt. How progressive. Huh, it's like the applause of a fifth grade play. I can't tell you how happy I am to see your smiling faces once more. I'm joking, of course. You're all dead inside. First, let me say that this trip was made possible only by a donation by the Chum Group. The Magnificent, in producer of oh yeah, that looks acceptable by OSHA standards. Of our industry. An inventor of Og's feet. Man, they are really obsessed with the pooper in this cartoon. A short time ago, the master was having trouble with the state limit. The state banana? He had, of course, developed the Og's explosive <laughs> It's punny! But it was inclined to get a little out of hand. Ah, uh, state propaganda always knows how to make things sound not so bad. And of course, there was always the problem of friction. Oh my god, it's Majora's Mask! All sorts of trouble. Well, that's what happens when you play with Hot Wheels. <laughs> Public maiming is hilarious! But, 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 I'm sorry I submitted that to Bob Saget. Even though he had concussion-like symptoms. Our first expedition into space. Threatening to pants everyone who didn't cooperate. The state limousine, so like, does everybody here just run on state donkeys? Destination Earth. You know, the only one there. You all know with what eagerness I volunteered for the mission. You know, and the fifth of Jack Daniels I had prior. So long, sucker! Oh man, I'd rather have Captain Ron pilot this vessel than you. Oh man, that'd have been a sweet upskirt shot. No time till I was approaching a country of Earth called uh, uh, the United States. No wonder Cubans jumped in Miami all the time. Look how close it is. Like a feather. Yeah, smoke, smokes. That's a good message for children. Oh shit, they crashed in Applejack's backyard. What's 
Shoulder. I'm with my daughter. Naturally, I protected government property by making the saucer invisible. That ah, sounds like everything else is going on in government. It's invisible. And though the natives showed great interest in me, they wanted to send me to some place called Roswell. Invisible too. Wow, you're definitely not a solid snake. What phenomenal luck! I had landed close to what seemed to be an endless procession of snakes. In beautiful downtown Biloxi. They moved quickly and yet with fantastic smoothness. I just oh man, it's the last thing Frogger ever sees. Now I'm just waiting for the Cubert curse lines. Just as I thought, not only smooth and efficient, but powerful as well. It's like they know what they were doing. Great Ganymede, they were superb. Who's Ganymede? You couldn't help comparing them with ours. If you call that a comparison. I always love it when the boss gets a headache. Surely these vehicles must be the property of the highest official. No, every stupid slob has one. It seems that almost everybody in this country has one of those, uh, uh, they call them... Automobiles. Including people that really shouldn't they have them, them. like the elderly. For business, for pleasure, for drug deals, for, for sex. I found that these vehicles gather at places called service stations. It's not that hard. If you're already speaking English, this should be easy. Uh, that's how they beat friction. And given the finest care. Oh, that's funny. The source of their nourishment was something called petroleum. Jelly. Whoa, naked chicks! Highly prized state secret. I had to find out about it. Mm, perhaps the secret lay within this government archive. That's funny, cause those don't exist. Heavily guarded, but casting discretion to the wind. I hear cardboard boxes work wonders. Their code was remarkably easy. Because humans are remarkably stupid. They substituted the word oil for petroleum. And I soon got hold of a veritable mine of classified information. Oh, I bet. I began to assimilate. You can't say assimilate! I soon found out that though petroleum products are easily found anywhere, petroleum itself is a very elusive substance. Those are big words you're throwing out there, bucko. Constantly, in all the most likely I don't think BP wants you to show this. Kinds of scientific devices. Yeah, by defibrillating the earth. They figure they found a good spot. They drill a hole in the ground called an oil well. For almost all Wow, that's like the best animated thing in here. The earth. These wells go down thousands of feet and cost a lot of money to drill. You know, cuz that's what but we're that's trying to talk about here is money and economy. Matter of fact, in exploratory drilling, only one well in nine finds any oil at all. And thus it is dubbed royalty of the oil rigs. recovers enough oil to pay for itself. And only one in almost a thousand makes a major discovery. Well, it's any wonder oil companies make any money at all. In America's proved reserves, the oil supplies still underground have kept increasing steadily. Well, yeah, because you just don't use it. Supply of oil was achieved until I found out that there's not just one, but thousands of oil companies. Oh, you can tell this is old school because I think now we're down to what four. And develop new sources of oil. For believe it or not, in the I can't believe it or not. Can drill for oil. Any jackass can just drill into the ground. Is only part of the story. Once they get oil out of the ground, they drink it. Has to be moved through pipelines, on ships, or in tank cars to fantastic and by plane, trains, or automobiles. Refineries. Crude oil goes in, and great Jupiter, the things that come out of your butt. Gasoline, for example, the most efficient mobile power source on Earth. Yeah, in the 1930s. That powered all those cars and trucks and asphalt. Which you can't say asphalt. Roads. It seems that oil not only runs cars, but gives a good excuse to ruin to nature. Run Another oil product is the diesel fuel, which runs giant trains across the nation. That can't compete with European and Japanese trains. Made from petroleum brings warmth and comfort to millions of homes. Because some idiots don't know that they should leave Maine. America's shores and skies. 
Okay, some of those things you cannot show in a cartoon. That keeps the wheels turning in America. But that still isn't all. No, there's more? Everything else is made up of billions of tiny molecules. And using the magic of research... You know, science. ...compete with each other in taking the petroleum molecule apart and rearranging it into... Hocus Pocus Alakazam! Fabric. Toothbrushes. No, I don't brush my teeth with oil, thank you. Insecticide. Cosmetic. Money. Weed Panties. A whole galaxy of things. A whole galaxy of savings at Menards! And you know, it isn't just oil companies that try to outdo each other competing for the customer's dollars. It's the Joneses across the street, because you got to keep up with them. Almost every successful business enterprise in America. The result? A higher I think some of these people have severe scoliosis. ...than in any other country on the whole planet. Shit! You can even fart in America and it smells like cherries. And now, to get proof of Dude, don't go to first base with yourself. I'm not in the library. Are. Oh, she's dead. In spite of my infinite precautions, one of them became suspicious and gave Will you give alarm. me mouth to mouth? Wow, she transmogrified pretty cool. Get away from my brother, Grandma! Farewell to the natives ringing in my ears. I took off once again for Mars. And prayed that Mr. Spacely wouldn't have my ass. My landing was a little bumpy. Because you know, the whole planet's a solid rock. Yes, I brought the secrets back with me. And here they are. It's called literature. This one's written by Charles Dickens. Oil, which has brought a better life to all the people in the USA. But the key to making oil work for everybody is competition. Written by Ayn Rand. Fellow Martians, I thank you. Mm, very interesting, Colonel. Oil. Jetson, uh, you've gotten something uh, here. But that, uh, what was it, uh, competition? b b b poppycock kind of thing at all. Why, competition is downright unmarked. Oil. I'll set the books on fire. You just learned about the damn thing, and now you're all just losing your mind over it. Cause yes, a corkscrew will get it. Well, that's one way to catch a diglet. Yay, we blew something up! Oh my god, he changed the name! You know what this means, Cosmic? The cat of nine tails for your patoot! It means that you are through. I'm not gonna touch your junk anymore. Yep. But I'll still get the second base with you. Yes, the real secret is not only a great source of energy, but also the freedom to make it work for everybody. And if you have both of these things, any goal is possible. Sweet! Soon I'll be able to eat unicorn shit! This offer void in Virginia, Alabama, and Utah, and including guys named Earl who live in Montana. Oil!